good morning everyone welcome back to another vlog so it's 7 32 in the morning on a saturday and i'm heading off to my hair appointment i opted for the early one because we've got quite a lot going on today basically let me give you a little rundown before this vlog starts got my car fixed by the way I didn't drive it for the whole time that I last got it looked at and then I thought you know what I really should get it done because it's a good little run around car I do rely on it you know to run around and you know it's it's quite important for us to have two cars you know that run well so yeah got it fixed got her fixed yesterday so she's all good to go she's having her service in MOT on Tuesday so she's getting a little revamp um she needs a wash as well because there's bird poop on the window we are then going around to the house because we got a moving date so we exchanged contracts on thursday no wednesday we exchanged contracts on wednesday and we are moving on thursday we got there in the end it's all coming together today we are going around to the house because i want to film my empty house tour do you know what annoys me i've had so many opportunities to film it because i've been around to the house so many times like i haven't for a long time now but back when we kind of like put the offer in and stuff we were going around there quite a lot to like measure up and because the house is empty we was it was so easy to do that um so i had so many chances to film an empty house tour but i just i don't know it just kind of like slipped my mind a little bit and now i'm like oh crap perhaps i should film one because on moving day it's going to be hectic you know there's going to we're literally going to be moving stuff from here to the house and everything's going to be moved in straight away so it's not really going to be an empty house store you know and there's just going to be people around and i just want it to be nice and calm and empty so yeah we're going to do that today i actually booked an appointment with the estate agent hopefully they just kind of like linger outside like last time she just sat in her car which was really handy um if anything i'll just have to say look I do YouTube and I want to film the house empty and hope that she kind of understands and doesn't look at me weirdly. And then we're going to make a trip to Lakeside because we want to go to Ikea. We might pop into Costco. We was going to go into the... No, we are actually going to go into the furniture shop where we ordered our sofa from. See if we can order that because that's going to take a few weeks. So we want to put that on order and order the flooring as well. And yeah, just kind of like get stuff sorted really and ready for Thursday because I feel like it's just going to be here like that. And yeah, we're just trying to get organised, you know. So anyway, I need to go to my hair appointment. I'm going to go and get a Costa because I need coffee. I was going to make a smoothie, but I didn't really have enough time. And um, yeah, so I'm probably just going to have to survive on coffee for the time being um like i said it's 7 36 so i'm gonna be in there for at least three hours i'd say that's the little rundown of this vlog basically oh and we're gonna try to put the take the bed down because i feel like that's gonna be a task and half because i mean we only put it up last year and you know when you're putting things together and you just kind of like screw it in you know as tight as you possibly can really thinking that you're not really gonna undo it for a very long time so that's what we did because we didn't think that we'd be moving in the next year like hell no i'm gonna film a bit of my hair appointment today because i know some of you guys were interested in seeing what i get done and stuff so i'm gonna film that but i'll probably just pop you on time lapse or something um but yeah i'm just waffling at this point so I will catch you guys in a bit. Good morning, what would you like today? Hi, can I get a large latte with almond milk, please? Large latte made with almond milk, yeah. And can I get some sugar-free caramel syrup in that as well, please? With sugar-free caramel? Of course you can. Anything else? That's it, thanks. No worries, drive on round, please. You.
Oh, I'm gonna have to get you guys off my phone because I've got a Costa app and I collect points. So I'm gonna need to take you off. There you go. Perfect, thank you. No and you. Yay. We're all good to go. Right, now I need to get a move on because I might just be getting there as my appointment is due. So see you in a bit guys. everyone god I don't look like I've just had my hair done do I? I look like a right mess so I don't think I've checked in since I was at the hairdressers what a day it's been it's half two we've been to the new house we're now at a tyre garage because my smart car needs new tyres <laughs> just another thing added to the list so we just went round to my parents and my dad noticed that my smart tyres uh, well, needed changing. He showed me, and yeah, I was just like, okay, I'll go get them done. We still haven't been lakeside yet. I changed my outfit because I had really bad period pains, and I just wanted something big and baggy to cover the bloat. So I've got on a hoodie, and I'm sweating. <laughs> So yeah, went to the new house, filmed the house tour, hopefully that's come, up, come out okay for you. So yeah, that's the current situation, we're at a tyre garage waiting to get the tyres changed and then we're going to go on to Lakeside. I will obviously update you as the day goes along, but the current situation is we are at a tyre garage waiting for the tyres to be changed. We're in Ikea. This time we're shopping properly because I know last time was a bit of a fail. So we've already picked up some pots and pans. Well, just pans at the moment, actually. We've gone for these ones. Harry liked these ones. So I kind of just said, okay, you get what you want. So we've got that size and we've got this size here. So like the largest and like the medium. And then what else have we got? We've got some lids for it to stop it spitting. We've got some of these. these you get a pack of three. These are good for our bolognese. Mm, and then we've just picked up a wok as well, which looks like... We just picked up a wok that looks like this one. So I think that's a decent size one. We also picked up a little rack thing as well to put our hot pans on when we get them off the hob so we don't ruin our work tops and that's about it so we're gonna go over and look at the utensils now and like all the jars and stuff because i can see some over there so we're just looking at mirrors for the bathroom guys and we're <laughs> 
and we're looking at this one which is 22 quid it's quite big because we've got a big blank wall in our bathroom so i thought that this one would be perfect for that and it's only 22 pounds so i think we're gonna get this one i was thinking of getting the little shelves to go with it but i don't think we really need it because we've got a big windowsill and we've got like a ledge by the bath as well so yeah i think we're gonna go for this one which is um nice or we was gonna go for this one but this one has like cupboards but it's perfect for a double it's, sink um, or we ain't got the space oh yeah. that's so cool but it's really like well this one is it's expensive. expensive 250 and it's just not something we really want to pay right now so i think for now we're gonna go for this one so we've just picked up the the bathroom mirror hey oh look there i am so yeah we just picked that up and now we're gonna we're gonna go and pay now because i think we've done enough for today we've broke the bank. yeah we broke the bank for today oh, carry. you're not gonna carry it yeah we've got plenty of stuff so i'm sure we'll be back again once we've moved in and we've decided what else we want <laughs> we've just come out of ikea i am so tired it's been a long old day i'm just waiting for harry he's gonna bring the car around to get the stuff because we've just come out and we've got everything in the trolley i'll show you here he is taking up two spaces <laughs> oh well we're not going to be long okay so it's the next day it's sunday and today we're going to take the bed apart i didn't really want to do that on my own um because i'm back at work tomorrow as well as harry and then i'm off from tuesday but i didn't really want to have to worry about that myself so we're going to do it today and then we're just going to sleep on a mattress for the time being we're going to try and take as much apart i think harry's going to do his desk as well later on today so yeah just try and take as much apart as we possibly can and then um i can just kind of do the smaller bits when i'm off on tuesday and wednesday so i'm going to put you on a time lapse and you can watch us take the bed apart hopefully it's easy Base. getting some bubble wrap this isn't really a big oh these are mini ones is that enough just one we're gonna need quite a bit of it aren't we now we're looking at fence paint i think we're gonna go for this one because this is the one that my mum and dad have so i know what it looks like actually on a fence so i think this is this is the one you have right yeah so, yeah, I think we're going to go for this one. This is what it looks like, guys, on um, fence, an actual fence. Samples here. So, that's what it will look like. Which one are they? Some paintbrushes for the fence. Oh my god, half that has gone from zero to 100 so quickly. Let me just give you a little tour of the apartment right now. So this is the hallway, front door. We've took our bed apart. These are all our empty boxes that I've collected. 
We've got our Ikea stuff there, which I'll show you later. Random stuff from under the bed. Boxes. Uh, my mum and dad bought loads of boxes round that they didn't need. More boxes. We bought some bubble wrap from Home Base which we will need some smaller bubble wrap for like kitchenware then we've got we've so we've taken the bed apart we're on the mattress now headboard's still there but we'll just you know maneuver that on its own side bits are over there <laughs> i am going to tidy all this up by the way spare bedding and towels in that bin bag empty photo frames bedding blah 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 that room is the next task, I think Harry's going to take his desk down this evening. So yeah, that's a mess. And then in here, we've got the dining table, which my aunt's going to have now, which is really handy. She lives local to my new home, so we'll be dropping that off to her on moving day. That's the, That black thing there is just for under the bed, like the ottoman bit. And then, yeah, that's it. It's, it's pretty tidy in here. But, yeah, in the hallway, wowza, it is another level of mess. So, I'm going to finish off tidying up the place a little bit. I say tidying up, making it a little bit more presentable. And, um, yeah, I will vlog, you know, proper packing in the next couple days. Hello, guys. Once again, I thought I would round this video off by doing a little ikea haul as you can see i've got a bag full of stuff here i did briefly show you what we picked up at the beginning of like when we got to ikea but we did pick up quite a bit so i thought i'd just quickly run through it with you in case you are interested i'll start off with these first because i'm scared they're gonna break i picked up these stunning wine glasses i do have wine glasses already but they're just your bog standard like round wine glass and I just think these look so nice they're kind of like a square shape and I just love them they were £1.50 each so I couldn't not and I only got two because I mean I'm not the biggest wine drinker and I always think it's good to have two in case you have someone else that wants to have one I don't have many friends that are going to be coming over so I didn't need to buy more than two so I just picked up two really really love these and then I picked or we picked up this bath mat Harry picked this up so I probably wouldn't have gone for something like this but I just kind of said you know yes to Harry because you know he liked it so you know I don't want to be like no 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 all the time you know even though Sometimes we are on the same page, sometimes we're not, but he liked this bath mat and I just thought, you know what, just, I mean, it is good quality, it's very fluffy as you can see and it's kind of like a dark, I don't know what shade of grey that, that would be classed as, but yeah, so a nice big bath mat for the bathroom and then we picked up this tray. Now, I didn't see many trays like this when we were in there. So we did just pick up this kind of like plastic, plasticky one, uh, which we did see. I don't even know how much this was. It didn't even have a price on the side. So yeah, we picked this up because we thought this would be good to put in some of the drawers in the kitchen. Um, we have got three kind of deepest drawers. So this one will be for like the cutlery and stuff. And then you can put like your potato peelers and you know, those kind of like tin opener stuff in the big compartment and then we picked up a knife set because harry was banging on about getting a new knife set so he chose this one which comes with three knives you've got a big one medium and a small and you can obviously lay it on the side like that if you want to which i think he wants to do but we'll just see when it comes to it and then i think i showed you this at the beginning of it like when we were looking at the pots and pans this is just a lid that you put over your pots and pans basically to stop spit or just to use as a lid and then we picked up a pot boring we picked up a um drainer thing what's the word for these a colander drainer thing 
this is quite a fancy one so it looks like that and then you just push the thing down it's like a rubber, rubbery bit underneath it looks like that some pencils this you get this one you get a pack of three which i just think is always useful to have and then we did pick up this um rubber stuff that you put in cupboards and, or like drawers and stuff we thought would be quite handy because like i said we've got those three drawers which we will be putting stuff in i guess it just stops scratching scratching them and stuff like that so we just picked up that we picked up this tray thing which i showed you as well this is just to put on your worktops to stop any like hot pots and pans uh, ruining your worktops and then we picked up a wok i think we did yeah oh that's heavy we picked up a wok which like that i think i showed you that as well in the video and then lastly i picked up some jars because i i was really kind of looking out for a, for some jars i wanted to get the ones with like the oak lids but they just didn't do the shape that i wanted they did like really big ones but i didn't really want big ones in that style so i'm sure other places do them but yeah that's what i wanted but i didn't i wasn't able to get it so i got two of these big jars with the thingy on the on the thing that. so i thought for this i could put my pasta in because i want to get one for spaghetti and one for like normal pasta so harry i did have this one for the spaghetti and then a smaller version for the pasta but Harry was like, oh, it'll look better if you get the same size. So I just got two of this, of this one. And I will be storing my pasta in there. I might put it on the side, on the worktops, or I might just put it in a cupboard. But at least it looks cool, you know. And then I picked up this jar, which I thought would be good for, like, biscuits and stuff. I mean, we don't really have any snacks in our house at the moment. But I do want to be that person that has something to offer when people come over. Because I feel like in a in a flat, you don't really get the urge to, like, want to host. Because, I don't know, maybe it's just, like, space. And I think that's mainly it, you know. I think it's just down to space. So I can't wait to have a house so I can host and have people around. Like I said, I don't have many friends, but... Um, there's definitely enough people that I can invite around and host and serve good food and have loads of snacks and yeah so I thought this would be good for biscuits and then we also did pick up some pans as well which are in the hallway in boxes and they actually came in boxes and I showed you them as well in the video so you would have seen them anyway um, so that is everything we picked up from Ikea so yeah we didn't go too mad because I don't we didn't really need to in regards to packing obviously you would have seen a little bit of packing going on in this vlog but i am gonna mainly save the packing for the next video so this video was supposed to go up today which is sunday but it's now going to go up on monday so you guys are watching this on monday and then the next upload will be on wednesday which is normal but it will be a little bit later in the evening because wednesday is obviously our last full day to pack up so i will be really really busy and i'm going to be filming it all for you because i want to film like a proper packing video obviously we had a little bit of a taster of it today because i've never really had to pack up stuff because when i moved from my childhood home i didn't really have a lot to bring with me me and harry bought everything new to move into this apartment like with so i've never really done this before so this is all new to me so i'm like ah where do i start so yeah had a bit of a teaser of it today we bought some bubble wrap we did just spend a little a little while packing some prints away some prints that we had around the apartment so we've wrapped all them up yeah i think the rest i'm just gonna wait to do when i'm off on tuesday and wednesday which, like I said, you guys will see in the next upload. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in my next one.